today we are going to discuss top 25 exception handling frequently asked questions. So let's start. What is exception? An exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program that disturbs the normal flow of the program instructions. When an error occurs within a method, the method creates an object and hands it, and hand it to a runtime system. So if you are not handling this exception properly, our program will get terminated abnormally. Question number two, how the exceptions are handled in Java? Exceptions are handled in Java using try, catch, and finally block. Try block, the code or set of statements which are to be monitored for exceptions are kept in this block. Catch block, this block catches the exceptions occurred in the try block. And finally block, this block is always executed whether exception is occurred in the try block or not and occurred exception is caught in the catch block or not. You can see this example. Question number three. What is unreachable catch block error? If you keep superclasses first and subclasses later, compiler will show unreachable catch block error. So when you are keeping multiple catch blocks, the order of catch blocks must be from most specific to general one. General one. That is subclasses of exceptions must come first and superclasses later. You, you can observe in this program, this exception is, yes, this is what generic exception, number format exception is a specific, specific exception. So specific exceptions comes before gener general exception. Question number four, what are checked and unchecked exceptions in Java? Checked exceptions are these exceptions which are known to the compiler and that's why they are known as compile time exception because these exceptions are checked at compile time only. What are the examples of? This compile time exceptions or checked exception, file not found exception, IO exception, SQL exception, class not found exception. These are the some examples of this checked exception. Unchecked exception. Unchecked exceptions are those exceptions which are not visible to, which are not known to the compiler. And these exceptions occur only at runtime. So these exceptions are also known as runtime exceptions. And also all subclasses of java.lang.runtime exception and java.lang.error are unchecked exceptions. What are the examples? Null pointer exception, arithmetic exception, class cast exception, array index out of bounds exception, etc. Question number five, what is finally in Java? A finally block is always executed whether an exception is handled or not. The finally block always executes when the try block exists. This ensures that the final is executed even if an unexpected exception occurs. But final is useful for more than just exception handling. It allows the programmer to avoid a, a, having cleanup code accidentally bypassed by a return or continuous break statement. The finally block may not execute if the JVN exits while the try or catch code is being executed. If you observe in this program, finally block is always get executed, either that exception occurred or not. Question number six, does finally block get executed if either try or catch blocks are returning the control? Yes, finally block will be always executed no matter whether the try or catch blocks are returning the control or not. Okay, question number seven, can we throw an exception manually? And if yes, how? Yes, we can throw an exception manually using throw keyword and what syntax you can use? throw instance of throwable type. You can, observe, you can observe this example here at line number four, throw new arithmetic exception. This is what we are, we are throwing that exception manually. Which exception? Arithmetic exception. How, what is the syntax? Throw then instance of throwable type. Question number eight. What is re-throwing an exception in Java? Exception can be rethrown in a catch block. This, this action will cause the exception to be passed to the calling method. If the rethrow operation occurs in the main method, then ex exception is passed to the JVM and displayed on the console. The purpose of the rethrow option is to get the attention of the outside world that an exception has occurred. And the rethrow expression, it causes the originally thrown object to be rethrown. If you observe in this example, we are rethrowing the exception. In main method. Question number nine. What is the difference between final, final, and finalize in Java? This is the most important question. At last, in every in every uh, interview, this question may be asked. 
what is the difference let's let discuss this table final finally finalize final it is used to make a variable or a method or class as a unchangeable if we used with variable that variable become constant if we used with method method will we cannot that method we cannot override if we use with the class the class cannot be extended and finally Finally, is a block in a Java which is used for exception handling. This block is always get executed. Either exception is handled or not. And finalize, it is used to perform some cleanup operations on an object before it is removed from the memory. Before cleanup operation, the before that object is removed from memory to perform these cleanup operations to closing the connections or to closing the files, closing IO connection, database connection, all those activities perform before that object is removed from the memory. Question number 10. What is the difference between throw, throws and throwable? Throw. Throw is a keyword in Java which is used to throw an exception manually where this throws keyword in Java which is used in the method signature to indicate that this method may throw mention exception. And throwable is what? It is a super class for all classes. It is a base class for, it is a base class in that hierarchy. When you are using this throw keyword, you can throw an exception from any method or block, but that exception must be type of java.lang.throwable class or its subclass. The call for this throws, the caller to such method must handle the mentioned exception either using try catch block or using throws keyword. And throwable is what? Only instances of this class or its subclasses are thrown by the Java virtual machine. Question number 11. Can we override a super class method which is throwing an unchecked exception with the checked exception in the subclass? No, we cannot override a super class method which is throwing an unchecked exception with the checked exceptions in the subclass. Question number 12. Which class is the super class for all type of errors and exception in Java? Which class? Then throwable, which is available in java.lang package. It is a base class for all type of exceptions. Question number 13. Do you know try with resources blocks? Why do we use them? And when they are introduced? Yes. I know this try with resources. It is introduced from Java 7. Why it is introduced? To add to close the resources like file IOs streams, database connections, network connections, which are used in the try block. You can see this example also. You need, you need not to close the resources explicitly in your code. Try with resources implicitly closes all the resources which are used in the try block. And the main benefit of this try with resources is that it avoids the resource leak that could happen if you don't close the resources properly after using them. If you observe this here in the try block, we use this uh, resource that is file rate. Question number 14. Is it possible to throw an exception inside a lambda expressions body? Yes, it is possible. However, we need, we need to note down two points. What are these points? If we are using a standard functional interface that is given by Java, then we can throw only unchecked exceptions. And this is because the standard functional interface of Java do not have a throws clause, which is defined in their signature, for example. We can throw illegal argument exception inside a functional interface. And what is point number two? If we are using custom functional interfaces, then we can throw checked as well as unchecked exceptions. And custom exception, custom functional interfaces can be defined with the help of what at the right functional interface key. Question number 15. What is the difference between exception and error in Java? Errors typically happen why an exception is running. And for instance, out of memory error, which occurs in the JVM and it will run out of memory. On the other hand, exceptions are mainly caused by the application. For instance, if we take an example, null pointer exception, which happens when an application tries to get to a null object. Question number 16. What do you mean by class cast exception? So class cast exception in Java is one of the unchecked exception that occurs when we try to convert one class type object into another class type object. You can observe this program code here. We are trying to convert this object to string. So this class cast exception is thrown to indicate that the code has attempted to cast an object to a subclass of which is not an instance. You can observe this example. Question number 17. What is the exception propagation? Ex exception 
propagation in Java, it occurs when an exception thrown from the top of the stack. When it is not caught, the exception drops down to the call stack of the preceding method. If it is not caught there, it further drops down to the previous method. And this continues until the method reaches the bottom of the call stack or it's caught somewhere in between. Question number 18. What are the methods provided by the throwable class in Java? So these are the some methods which are provided by throwable class in Java. They're like get message, to string, print, print stack trace, fill in stack trace, get stack trace, get clause. These are the different methods. Question number 19. Explain stack trace in Java and why it is important in exception handling. The stack trace also called the back trace. It is also called as back trace. Consists of a collection of stack records which store an application's movement during its execution. And the stack trace includes information about the program subroutines and can be used to debug or troubleshoot. And it is often used to create the log files. In the yes. Okay. Question number 20. What are the advantages of using exception handling in your program? There are uh, different advantages. Let's talk about them. Meaningful error reporting. It will provide meaningful reporting, improve the readability and maintainability of the code. It allows for more accurate error reporting. It also facilitates debug debugging and troubleshooting. It also improves the security of the program and enables the use of error recovery mechanism. Question number 21. How to create user defined exception in Java? Java provides us the facility to create our own exception, which are basically derived classes of exception. You can observe in this program here, this invalid credential exception, this class, it extends exception. So invalid credential exception is what our custom exception. So creating our own exception is known as custom exception, or it is also called as user defined exception. In, in this case, invalid credential exception, it is our user defined exception. So basically Java, it custom exceptions, why they are used to customize the exceptions according to the user's need. And here in the second screenshot, you can observe this invalid credential exception is used in the try block. Question number 22, how to catch multiple exceptions using single catch block? Multiple exceptions in a catch block, it is introduced in Java 7 and it will help to optimize the code right in java sc7 and later we can now catch more than one type of exception in a single catch block and his exception type that can be handled by the catch block is separated by using the vertical bar already you can see five and catching multiple exceptions in a single catch block reduces the code duplication and increases efficiency in this program this catch block it it handles Arithmetic exception as well as array index out of bounds exception. If you are using arithmetic exception, array index out of bounds exception, and one more exception, which is your generic exception, what will be the sequence then? Arithmetic exception, array index out of bounds exception, at last one more pipe and exception that is your general exception. So, what is the se sequence again? Same specific ex ex exceptions first, then you can use generic exception. Question number 23. What is the difference between class not found exception and no class definition found error in Java? Okay, so class now class not found exception. It is an exception and it is a type of Java dot lang dot exception. And no class definition found error. It is an error and it is type of Java dot lang dot error. When this class not found exception occurs, when an application tries to load a class at runtime which is not updated in class path. And when this no class definition found error occurs, when Java runtime system does not find a class definition, which is present in the compile time, but missing at runtime. Class not found exception, it is thrown by the exception itself. And it is thrown by the methods like class dot for name or load class and find system class. And this class, no class definition found error, it is thrown by the Java runtime system. Class not found exception occurs. When class path is not updated with the required jar files and no class definition found error, it occurs when required class definition is missing at runtime. Okay. Question number 24. How to handle null pointer exception in Java 8? Java 8 introduced new feature that is class optional. Where this class is available in Java dot util package. Optional is a container object that can contain a non-null or null value. 
it basically checks whether the memory address has an object or not. And if a value is present, each present will return two and get will return the value. And additionally, the methods that depend on the presence or absence of a content value are provided, like or else. And this or else method, which returns default value, if value is there and not present, and if present, which executes a block of code, if the value is present. What is stack overflow error? The java.lang.stack dot dot overflow error indicates that the application stack has been exhausted, which is frequently the result of deep or infinite recursion. In this example, you can say this A method is frequently called. It is recursive. Recursively, we are calling this A method, which causes stack overflow error. Right? It extends the virtual machine error class. This stack overflow class, it extends virtual machine error class, which signals that the JVM has failed or has run out of sources and it is unable to run. So, all these are the top 25 questions from exception handling. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates.